saw that victory, the action film set. Salvador Press, all you throwing out for our films are heroes in the red car. He's got a top super novel up and everyone else just trying to keep him from leaving top there. Alright, check out the garbage truck. Are you ready to go? We're good. Thanks, sir. Trudy, roll it and slay. Okay, roll it, guys. Jason, it's so many. Take one more. Alright, all drivers on my count. We have three, two, one. This is a technique used in a lot of chase films 
Every user right here today on set. Good. Let's see some of the ramp shots. Let's check those out, right? Alright, let's get to the ramp shots. All angles will be fantastic. Now we heard a lot of cheers going on up there when this happened. Now watch this. Our hero, remember, he's trying to get out of town. He's being uh, pursued. Look at this. Up and over the ramps. Watch the two cars. One, two, three. Look at that tight formation. Just what we want to see. They land. Perfect landing right there. That should be inside the car. We mount those cameras right on the deck. Perfect example of using that, that camera right there. Looking good. And under the ramps as well. Let's go to camera four and freeze it, please. Alright, let's get to camera four, Mark, and freeze that jump. Freeze it. Right in the center. Oh, oh my oh, man. Nice. Frozen. Absolutely. Nice, huh? Hey, Jeff. Yeah. We should talk about that car. That's not an ordinary car I'm looking at on the street, is it? No. Not by any stretch, folks. We designed and built the Hero vehicle specifically for this project. Now, it's got four forward gears. Nothing really special about that. That does have a very unique one of a kind transmission. Four gears of reverse as well, so we can really accelerate going backwards. And the engine, we mounted as close to the center of the vehicle as possible. You see here in the diagram, we tucked it right in behind the driver. Combining the driver's body weight now gives the automobile a much more manageable center of mass. The car has better flight dynamics on jumps, as well as maneuverability in these tight turns after. It's too good type, uh, really not the family vehicle. We'll load up the family on vacation and that thing, right? Not a lot of extra room. Do. Yeah, we got it. Give a little extra time. If you like, you can just bring her on back up. Give everybody a closer look. Yeah, we'll show them Let's go. Yeah, ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, here are the same place. All right, folks. Nice warm welcome here from one of the very best drivers. It's ever been my pleasure to work with. This is Mike Sawyer. Boston Mike. Yes, you may be Boston Mike Sawyer. Yeah, Boston Mike, what up, man? Yeah. Mike, beautiful work there at Oak Lake City. It's been just exactly what I was looking for. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, do me a quick favor, though. Look at the camera here, if you wouldn't mind, and uh, tell these folks all about that backwards jump there. Well, that's the camera. <laughs> Let's uh, mess with them a little bit. I don't want to let them off the hook here. Let you in on one of these movie making secrets that Dennis is talking about. This unique, one of a kind vehicle. Has a twin. See, folks, it's not safe to drive a car backwards at a high rate of speed for an extended period of time. Uh, nor is it safe to jump a car in reverse. So we go with duplicate our hero vehicle. Identical in every aspect, except for one. This is still so our driver faces out the back. That's right. We took it to one more street. We pulled the backwards stunt man. So it looks like he's driving facing out the front of the car. Look at this. Oh, hello. Oh, nice to see you. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, our reverse driver, Robert, he's not smarter than a fifth grader. Shaver! Now, folks, you're probably wondering here how we were able to pull off that switch in mid team without you noticing. Trudy, can we uh, pull the switch for the show?